if you uh, understand this idea of uh, the central dogma of biology, we all know that we start our journey as a DNA, and all the information that is present in the DNA is transferred into the mRNA messenger RNA, translated into proteins. This is and DNA can make its own copy, that is replication. This is transcription, and this is translation. Now, the difference between eukaryotic and prokaryotic replication, transcription, and translation, the maximum difference is observed in case of transcription. And how? The RNA is produced from DNA in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. While the translation is very, very similar, very similar between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. And the stages are similar, only the difference thing is the translation factors. In eukaryotes, we write it like this, small e and then translation factors. And in prokaryotes, we simply write as like elongation factor, initiation factor 2. And in eukaryotes, we write the same elongation factor like this. That is the only difference. So, we will first study the DNA replication in prokaryotes, particularly the DNA replication in E. coli, the replication initiation in E. coli. We will also talk about the termination of replication in E. coli. And then, we will talk about the transcription events, the difference between the transcription of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. And we will also talk about translation and also the difference between prokaryotic and translation and overall idea of the translation. So, today we will begin with the DNA replication that is prokaryotic DNA replication. So, the first thing that we are going to talk about is the theories of DNA replication. In prokaryotic DNA replication, in prokaryotic DNA replication, what are the theories of replication that are available depending upon the type of DNA division or DNA duplication? Replication of the DNA means what? It is a DNA duplication, right? DNA duplication. So, how exactly we have one DNA? From one DNA we make two DNAs. That is a duplication process. So, how exactly this DNA duplication is done? We know that there is one DNA, it will make two, from two to four, four to eight, it will move like this. But what is the pattern? If you look at this picture, it stated three different types of DNA replication or DNA duplication process. Where we have a conservative model, we have a dispersive model, we have a semi-conservative model. Three different types of model. And we have different generations starting with the parent generation, then the daughter generation number one, then daughter generation number two. So what we have in conservative model, you can see that all parent generation DNA is denoted with blue colored strand. Okay? And the new strand is denoted with red color. So what happened in conservative model? that the existing both strands of parental DNA is kept as it is and a complete new two strand coded DNA is produced. So in this model, what we get at the beginning, the parent generation only old, 100% old DNA strand. In the daughter one generation, we got half, half of old, half of new. And the third daughter, 75 percent means three fourth new means one fourth old. This is the idea in case of a conservative model. And particularly if we study the presence of old and new strand of the DNA with heavy form of nitrogen, somehow if we can incorporate a heavy form of nitrogen in bases of the DNA of a new strand we can easily distinguish between the old strand from a new strand with density gradient centrifugation. Now for semi-conservative, semi-conservative model, this model earlier was known as conservative because the whole two strands of the DNA was conserved. Semi-conservative model stated that after the first round of division, 50% of the strands will be old, 50% of the strands would be new. So, this is 50-50, half, the same thing here, but the difference is that in conservative model, we have a whole DNA, old, a whole new DNA. But in case of semi-conservative, we have a hybrid. 
right hybrid dna hybrid means hybrid in terms of strands old and new and again further division so another say this red strand will be as a template to make another blue as a template another red as a template blue as a template so again in this case three four but the distribution is different in this case also and in dispersive model stated that <clears throat> the parental dna is shattered and fragmented and it's kind of a mosaic of a old strand and new strand throughout from the generation number 1 daughter generation 1 as well as in daughter generation 2 right this is a mosaic this is a hybrid and this was 50 50 50% old 50% new now <clears throat> what you can imagine is that if we somehow can tag this dna as i mentioned that let's say the old dna was light or let's say old dna was heavy start with heavy heavy or light whether you can do new dna is transferred to light nitrogen old dna was with heavy nitrogen new transferred to light nitrogen so what will be happening that the old or blue colored means it's all with heavy nitrogen and the red colored one with light nitrogen right and heavy and light nitrogen why they are important because if we are going to put them in centrifugation in a tube what we are going to observe we are going to observe a density gradient filtration in the density gradient filtration let's say this is the mark for heavy this is a mark for light and this is something hybrid hybrid so now imagine the same idea we are doing it for three different examples conservative as per this scheme why should i get a band at the first generation we get a band at here then the second band will get where heavy and light mixed right but we get a band in heavy we also get a band in light and then from next round onwards this light will be increasing so this is a model explaining conservative another situation semi conservative first band in the heavy then second band see this is a totally different type of species here a hybrid so we'll get neither in heavy nor in light somewhere in the middle and then afterwards we have light only the red ones right only so we have light only right because the hybrid was that faint rest of will be light only and the last one dispersive what happened in dispersive model first we get light no heavy first we get heavy and then rest of them hybrid hybrid, hybrid means in the middle somewhere so these are the three different patterns let me write it this was conservative conservative semi conservative dispersive clear so in exam they can ask you question from this idea that you know we know that if it's semi conservative model we have this sort of band pattern but if it's a conservative model or it's a dispersive model then what kind of band pattern you should observe and there are experiments done by meselson and stall and this experiment provided us information regarding the type of dna replication that is being conducted in bacteria let's say e coli in this case and what we found out is that these are actual observations in this left hand side and we have predictions in the right hand side the actual observation begins from this that this is the first replication পরীক্ষা হয়ে গেছে 
we have seen examples of why conservative semi conservative and dispersive are different and here we are seeing the experiment where left hand side we have actual observations and right hand side we have predictions the actual observation stated in the very first order replication we have this n15 n14 n14 is a normal form a light nitrogen form n15 is the heavy nitrogen form right if we allow the e coli bacteria to grow in presence of n15 nitrogen containing media then we can ensure that let's say uh, we allow the e coli to grow for 40 generations that means we can ensure that within that 40 generations almost all the bases in the dna will be carrying a heavy form of nitrogen we make sure that thing happens once that is done then what we want we want to shift those bacteria from the heavy medium into light medium light nitrogen containing medium so now once the shift is done in the light medium the bacteria will be accommodating and incorporate the heavy, the light form of nitrogen in the dna base so what will happen is that there will be a shift from n15 bases to n14 type of base in the e coli genome right and we can measure whether the dna of e coli consists of n15 nitrogen in the base or n14 nitrogen in the base with the help of cesium chloride gradient centrifugation because in this tube when we put cesium chloride we may also put the dna and uh, use the centrifugal force it will separate the dna based on the heavy or light nitrogen so heavy band will show a pattern at the bottom heavy or light mixed together in the middle light one showing in the top so this is for heavy this is for light this is for hybrid okay and so this is the very first replication and then after that second replication after second replication what we got we get a heavy band we get a light band i mean we get a not a heavy actually we get a hybrid band hybrid band and we get a light band so this is the experimental findings after the experiment is done we found out that started with the heavy so before that if i draw another another uh, flask here then there will be only heavy and then afterwards we have only one band in the hybrid then after another round of replication we get two bands one in the hybrid one in the light so we start with the band in heavy then we have a band in hybrid only then we have a band in hybrid and light this was the observation experimental observation based on that observation what conclusion we can draw normally if it's a conservative model then what conservative stated we have n15 we have n14 n14 light n15 heavy nothing except for light and heavy possible in case of conservative right no hybrid possibilities so even after second round there will be only light and heavy heavy is fixed light will be increasing the second situation if it's semi conservative then we have a hybrid and then after hybrid because yellow let's say yellow is a light one and blue is the heavy one so blue will be used as a template to make heavy light hybrid and yellow is used as a template to make light so we get light and hybrid this one semi conservative and the third one we get dispersive if it's dispersive then we only get hybrid hybrid nothing else so in dispersive mode we have only hybrid in conservative we don't have any hybrid in semi conservative we have hybrid then light so this same pattern so this is for semi conservative for conservative we start with heavy then after first generation heavy and light after second generation heavy and light dispersive starting with heavy first generation hybrid second generation clear so after this this so this is first this is second replication cycle after this slide and part of the topic i think it's crystal clear now how the dna replication what is the mode of dna replication okay because csr have asked question directly from this topic so important topic to understand all right let's move to further messenger cell experiment i already explained so just 
for simplicity i'll be explaining that one more time but already explained the method was remember i told you that earlier they are grown in in 15 medium the heavy medium and once we ensure that all the dna bases are in 15 then we transfer it to the light nitrogen medium this is heavy medium this is light medium and you know we take the sample this is parent with only heavy and this is the sample after first 20 minutes means after first division all we get as hybrid and then after second division we got hybrid and light so that itself explains the replication strategy for dna so both blue strand means both heavy now both of these strands separate use as a template to make new strands which are red in color which are light red in color and then further they are used as a template to make more so these are light light hybrid hybrid right so this was a wessels and stall experiment so whether they tell you that this is wessels and stall experiment or this is not but you will understand whether x y z you know what experiment it is you know what is the point of this experiment or what we achieved with the help of this experiment